Hi guys, I'm back. Um, so I just wanted to do maybe a little bit of a ramble. Um, so if you're not into that type of thing, bear with. Then, you know, feel free to skip. But, um, I started reading the, what got me thinking is about this and why I wanted to make this video and just kind of talk is I was reading, just started reading the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, so anybody who is a Hunger Games fan, this is the new book by Suzanne Collins and it is the backstory and origin of President Snow and kind of how, I, I'm assuming it's how he came to power is going to be um, about and the events that shaped him and how, you know, it, it's showing there's always two sides to a coin. Um, and I think the media and entertainment in general more recently have been doing a much better job of showing more complex characters. Um, you know, because when it comes to real life, people are complex. You know, people aren't going to go out and, people don't go out and lash out at others just because they wanna hurt them, at least not usually. There's usually a reason behind it. And the thing that I've always tried to approach life with, and what I think all of us should do is when somebody does lash out at you or you're feeling hurt by somebody, try to understand why. Because there's generally, usually a good reason for it, you know? And just a couple examples that I can think of are like, you know, um, I work in the medical field. There was a surgeon that I was working with who I just felt like I couldn't really do anything right. And I realized later from talking to other people that at the time, she had been so overworked. She was pretty much the only trauma surgeon on call. And she was working just shift after shift, back to back, sleeping on a couch in her office. There was a point where she told somebody she hadn't even been able to change her underwear in three days. And she's got three little kids at home. Once you realize that, not only can I now empathize more with her, which it, so it changes my viewpoint of her, but if I now react with kindness or if I try to react with kindness instead of lashing back out in return, then her attitude towards me changes as well. So, I feel like I don't really do a good job of explaining my thoughts, but there's just been so many examples in my life where you don't see the other side of the story until later. And when you do, all of a sudden everything makes sense. And you're like, now I see why that person is the way they are. And I truly believe that if we just take more time to try to understand each other, the world would be such a better place. If our initial reaction when somebody hurts us is not to fight back. I mean, talking about like physical violence, totally different story. But if somebody makes a mean comment to you, what are they going through in life? Do they have a crappy like relationship at home going on? Maybe they were teased as a kid and they're taking it out on others now. Like there are just so many reasons behind people. 
it's never black and white. It's not. People have so many, thinking about Shrek, people <laughs> are like onions. They have many layers. <laughs> and it's just the truth of it. So that was really all I kind of wanted to share and my thoughts on the matter. But it was just one of those self reflections that I think everybody needs to, we all need to hear, we all need to try to be more caring and more understanding of each other. You know, let that be the challenge to yourself. If you have one thing that you want to challenge yourself with today, take one situation where somebody hurt you and go try to figure out why. And I mean, I've gone back to a friend of mine that had hurt me, or at least my perception of hurt. And I reached out to her recently and I was like, you know, I'm really sorry if I did these things that made you feel this way. You know, I won't go into specifics, but. And she came back to me and she's like, I never thought that. She's like, you know, it was just a matter of really time and distance, you know, having busy lives, we were growing apart. And so I had kind of conceived these notions in my head of what I thought happened. And when I reached out to her, turns out it's not the truth at all. And so now I feel a lot better about the situation and it brings you that sense of closure. So don't be afraid to reach back, to go back to people and say, hey, you know what? Maybe you hurt me in the past. Tell me, can you tell me why? Why, what was going on with you? Were you struggling with something? doesn't hurt to ask. So, I don't know. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Now I have to go because the dog is running around. Mm -hmm.